Hey, what's up everyone? Bubble Kings here, and today we're going to be playing some Chronicles RuneScape Legends. Um, so this is a card game made by, obviously, Jagex, and it's a bit different to some other card games you've probably seen. We'll, we'll see here. You'll probably be easy to um, understand what's going on when we're actually in the game. So, like most other card games, you have a bunch of cards, which are probably going to show up here once an opponent loads in. Come on, you can do it. You can do it, bad boy. Load in. Okay, there we go. Finally. Um. Okay, so this is your cards here, like I was saying before. Here we have a support card. There's an equipment card to be very specific, but I think they're overall called support cards. Um, this costs 13 gold, and it gives us a 5 free weapon. That means 5 damage and 3 durability, so you can swing with it free time. And 12 armor, which is similar to health. Um, 13 gold is quite expensive, saying we start off with no gold to start off with, so we probably want to get rid of that. And I think we'll keep everything else. Maybe get rid of this wolf. I can't. Uh, no, let's keep him. We'll keep the wolf. Okay, so we'll get rid of these two cards on the right here. And this is quite good, actually. So what we can do here is we can play the Pyramid Plunderer. And Nastroff here to get an extra damage. So we play this card, which gives us four gold. Um, it does give us give our rival two, but that's fine. Um, it gives us four, which is really helpful. And that allows us to buy Nastroff here, which is an extra one attack. So our base attack currently is two. And with this, it will go up to three. Um, if we play the Penguin here, that will give us an extra attack as well, which will put up to four. And that means we can use White Wolf here to draw two cards and um, get the gold here without having to take damage from the actual monster. Because he has four lives, so if we have a base attack of four, we'll be able to kill him off before he can react and deal damage back to us. So, let's see how this goes. So these are the cards we place down. We're going against the cards we actually place down from our deck, and that's kind of different to what most of the card games are. Usually your, the cards you play are you used to go attack your opponent and stuff like that. Where in this game, the cards you place down, your character actually fights. Where the archer guy here, if you didn't know. And she fights her own deck here, up here. So we both actually um, played a penguin just there. I discarded my skeletal warrior there. Not too bad. Um, and she discarded a weapon. That's fine. But she's going to steal two health from us. Which is okay. We're on full health at the moment. We're going to be in 26 after she steals two. It's not too big of a deal. She's only one HP ahead. Um, we are even on attack though, so... She has a slight advantage, a very slight advantage on us at the moment. We do have a heal here though, so we can heal her for free. Which will put us ahead in health again. So, we're gonna draw three cards here. You draw three cards every turn. So we have three from last round because we just drawed two and we had one. Um, and we're going to draw three more. So in total we're going to have six cards here once, um, what's the name, loads. Okay, so we've got six cards here. Um, what do we want to do? Ooh. I think what we want to do is play... Pyramid Plunderer and then this longsword. Um kill off the warrior and then duel him. So we're gonna use this to be able to purchase a dragon longsword here, which will give us a five free weapon. And then we're gonna kill this Alakarid warrior here to steal two gold from her. And we want to equip the weapon first so we can one-shot this um, Alcarid warrior guy. And then when we duel her, which means we both get a swing at each other once, we would deal a significant amount of damage because we have that weapon e equipped. So she's going to heal a bit because she's stealing health from um, the next creature. Oh, she's stealing even more health. So she's going to get a full life here. Yeah, that's not too bad. She's not going to have enough to one-shot her, so she's going to take 6 damage here. 
Which he's gonna gain um one more after after she kills the monster. Yeah, that's fine. We're gonna do a nine damage to her with our dual card here. That's pretty good. We also draw a card, which will be helpful. She's gonna do a five back to us, so we're gonna be on twenty one. That's not too big of an issue. We're two ahead, and we have a weapon equipped, so we have to make good use of this last weapon charge. Try and um, kill off something big here. We want to try and build up enough money to get the dragon set just before um, the last chapter. So there's five chapters. We're currently on chapter three. And after chapter five, we um, duel each other to the death to see who wins the game, if anyone lives. We can kill them off earlier. Uh, it doesn't happen too often, though. You have to get quite lucky with your cards for that to happen. So let's see, we, we got three currently. We can get one more from this um, bird here. However, we probably want to, oh, okay. We actually got um, pretty decent stuff there. We got a bunch of healing here, so we can get six healing. And we can, how much base damage do we have? We have base damage to four, okay. So it doesn't matter which order we really do stuff in. Cause either way, we're gonna take a bunch of um, damage. Now the question is whether we want to use Rumley Weak Lax here. I don't know if we'll be able to build up enough gold if we start spending gold here. We're going to get four here, so we're going to be on seven. I think I'm not going to use them in case we um, don't get enough gold. Because we get to the final round and we don't have our dragon um, armor, we're going to be in a bit of trouble. It is good to see you again. We have quite the health advantage here, though. It looks like she's about to get a heal here. How much health she get? Four. So that means the enemy here has eight. So she's going to take six more damage. But she does have six attack now. So that's a bit troubling. Okay, let's see. We need to try and get some more... Um, high cost... High gold um, generating creatures here. We don't want to battle her yet, unless we get a weapon. So we might, if we have enough, we can get the dragon set and battle her. Um, duel her here. And that'll be quite useful. We'll be able to get some nice damage down on her. I'll have to see though. Currently we can only get two more gold, so we're on nine, which means we're four off this. We might be able to draw some minions here that give us enough gold though. We only need um, four more, which is pretty, pretty easy to get if we get some good minions here. Okay, there we go. We got enough. Now here comes a, uh, ooh. Okay. I think what we want to do is, we want to um generate as much gold as possible this round. Heal up. So how much is that? Six, nine. So we're on sixteen gold. Okay. And then next round we can uh, go play these three cards and try and get her really low, in one go. We don't want to battle her until we equip the dragon set, so we don't want to use that. And we don't want to use this KP, um, KGP agent in case we get rid of dual tournament. It's not too worried about dragon set since we have two of them. But um, we don't want to get rid of dual tournament once we equip the weapon, because we can do a lot of damage to her through that. And this way, if we do draw something that needs a bunch of gold next time, we can use it. And we won't take damage from any of these minions. Oh, this is not good. She's going to strike us for six. So on 17 now. Oh, she's going to try and kill us off, is she? Oh god, she might be able to kill us off, actually. No, she won't. Okay, cool. We're going to get our heal first, so she won't be able to kill us off, even if her last card is a damage card. Okay, she's going to get a heal as well, so Here, that's good. These pies. She won't take any damage. Here, we're also going to get some armor next turn, so we're going to be even higher on HP. Okay, so we're going in the final round here. Let's see how this goes. So we want to play the penguin to get extra attack and the dragon set. And we want to duel her so we can get some damage down. Let's see if we can get anything else with our cards we draw though. We only have 13 gold. So that kind of um sucks. We can't really play dual tournament. Now for the final act. 
Oh. This is a bit tough one, actually. I'd have to steal more gold before yeah, not enough that. gold. Um. How about you? Okay, so we can do this. Hmm. We could try and steal two gold before we do that. And then we can battle her to deal some extra damage. There's no other thing we can use, so we can yeah, we might as well just duel her, right? Okay, we'll see how this goes. So we're gonna get an extra damage, which will give us five, so we can kill off this next guy without taking any damage. She's going to try and keep healing up here. We're going to get armor though, so that's quite helpful. We move to health, deal 4 damage to rival. Okay, she's going to take 2 damage here. Hopefully she has a, a support card that requires a lot of gold. And our gold still stops her from getting it. Does she? No. She just has lots of damage cards. Okay, this is quite troubling. We're going to take three hits to hit her. How many does it going to take for her to kill us? I think we're going to be able to get this, depending on what her last guy is. Oh, she doesn't have anyone? Okay, I think we might be able to beat her then. I think we just got just enough damage. Let's see. Yeah, I think we do. Oh, that was close. We had two more hits until she killed us, but we only had one charge left of the weapon, so that was quite good for us. Being able to win that one. Got another title for completing some sort of quest. Hey, and we got some money. So that's basically how the whole game works. You level up to collect cards. You also got currency to buy cards if you want. Um, obviously, it's going to take a while to get the cards because it is a collectible card game. If you like Hearthstone and stuff, it's going to take a while to get all the cards. But, um... Yeah, quite fun. There are five other classes. So this is the one we just first then. Venice Scholar. She tries to steal health and stuff like that. Sort of like a vampire. Um, and we played this guy here, Ozen. Who basically has a bunch of uh, money cards and stuff like that. Loads of poor cards. So yeah, I'm interested to hear what you guys think about the game. I only started playing myself, so... I um, haven't gotten too far into it. I've done a bit of the solo play. I've done like one game in Bronze and Silver. But, uh, yeah, I'm interested to hear what you guys think about the game. Have you tried it out before, or does it look fun? I don't know. I'm interested to hear what you guys say, um, have to say. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next time.